Hey guys, we're back to Lego Star Wars. Last time we did the Battle of Endor. In this part, we're going to go ahead and do Jedi Destiny. So, yeah, this is nearing the end, actually. can't believe it. We're nearly done. Well, that yeah, took me four months to complete the laziness. I'm almost done. No. So yeah, Luke got captured. It was on purpose, maybe. So funny. Anyway, they fly up. Closer to me. Sorry, I'm kind of game suggesting them. Um, second Death Star. Yeah, so building a second Death Star, in case the opener didn't give you any hint. My guts are Republican. Go with the crazy and delusional. Oh my god, Force Lightning. Yeah, you can do that. Red Bear's violently instinct finally kicks in as he realizes, oh wait, he's hurting my son. Oh my god! <laughs> this is truly the final boss. Start off with Luke, but Darth Vader is now play watch. He's a little bit harder than he was earlier, but that's just because he has no help. Yeah, you got a little bit of music here. Okay, now. It's gonna do this. He's gonna run up there and jump up here. Now, what you need to do is. Actually, you collect these sets here so you can get Darth Vader. We have to fight Palpatine's guards. Now they pretty much play like Jabba's guards. They block your attacks and each stall in the way. Now you can... The quickest way to kill them is just force choke. Since now you have Darth Vader, you can force choke things. But now I have the way to kill things, actually. So let's go down here and get some stuff. Now over here is actually where we're supposed to go. We need to build this. Now we need to push the Vader. Or Tater. And now we need to pull the fan up. Build it. Now the AI should handle Luke. Moving the fan. So now we can build the fan. Father and son teamwork! No! This part can be a bit fun. This part, this part's great, but this part, he uses the, his electricity from his hands to light up this field. Now, if you step on a part that has electricity on it, try not to, I might demonstrate it, you will get a hit a lot. Like right. We'll jump. And the second half of the battle, sorry. He has, like, a lot of the only way to break that spray is concentration. He's gonna keep doing this, so you might want to try And not get hit, like I just did. See that? Don't do that. There we go. He's gonna run this way now. And this part's probably the easiest chase I've seen. Uh, more dark. Get away. Now, yeah, push him. Sorry, I'm kind of okay. Now, he's still going to come over here. We're going to fight him in here pretty quickly. He really needs to get more tricks than just force lightning. Now it's going to go up here. Now this one thing that would be funny ring up by here. They were like pulling up. For the win. Now, if you're Dark Vader here, can you do this? Oh, okay, he's not gonna do it this time. Jerk. 
last time Luke was jumping up here before Darth Vader finished the elevator. And he got up here first, so I just switched in. Now, this is the part I don't understand. He when he has three hearts. He comes down here. You get him down at one heart. And then he goes all the way over here. Why wouldn't he just save? Oh, yeah. The green cuts it coming up here. We win. Let's throw him overboard. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. And he's dead. And Darth Vader is dead now, too. Unfortunately. Luke never got to have that father son bond. Shame. Shame, shame, shame. Actually, I'm just going to record all this at once and I'll separate it out when we. So this is going to be like Mondo shorts. It's about six minutes. And he dies. That's also what his face looks like. Fun fact, in the original edit of Return of the Jedi, he had bushy eyebrows until they realized that if he had been burnt, he wouldn't have bushy eyebrows, so they cut that in the remasters. Such a fun fact of the day, folks. With that, we are done. We fought Emperor Palpatine. Next time, we'll finish up LEGO Star Wars, and then... Yeah, so see you guys next time, I guess.